Wow, Steve Gold has a family. I know, and they were so sweet. Luis didn't look too happy. He didn't, and... Ooh, I wonder it, if he's coming back to New York. I don't know, and it looks like uh, Derek and Frederick may be having some good oh, news. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about it. This is episode 11 of Million Dollar Listing New York. Three, two, one. This is the Mac Media Show. show. Welcome to the Mac Media Show, everyone. My name is Mac. And I'm Ree. And this is the Me and Ree Review Show. We are the two that review for you. Yeah. Yeah, we are. This is it for us this season. It is. I can't believe it's a whole season already. Yeah, this is Million Dollar Listing. This was episode 12 of the New York series. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been reviewing it now for four or five years now. Is mm-hmm. that right? Three, maybe three uh, years. I think. Maybe, yeah, I'm not sure. Three Something like that, yeah. And, um... There's, you know, about 47,000 people that follow us on Twitter at McKinnomatix. Go and join us there. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen this week's episode, you need to watch it. It's on Bravo. It, it was a good one. It was a season finale. We learned a lot about the personal lives of these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, they went to France together. It was awesome. And uh, what were your big picture? Did you enjoy it this last episode? It was the best one I've ever seen. The I think, best one. <laughs> I think I agree with you. I, I do think this is the best episode that we've seen out of any Million Dollar Listing ever. It was so real. I felt like I was there, and they were kind of off the camera yeah, and out of their little norm and all that stuff. I thought it was the coolest show because everybody got a good ending, and I love that. I love that. It was a really great ending to it a great was. season. It was really good, and they all seemed very sincere. And um, it was so great to see Luis, but bless his heart, he has got to get himself together. <laughs> I think Luis is having some problems. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he, really he realizes that Paris is not the right place for him to be. Right. Bless and, his heart. Uh, you know, I think he'll figure it out. But it's really sweet, though, that they supported him. And he said that they supported him regardless, even though they were like, you remember when they met with him and he said he was going to Paris and. They were like, well, you need a plan, and you just go visit and all that. And he kind of got, you know, they he got hurt about I, it. He did. But he realizes now that they, um, you know, they've got his back. They're his friends regardless. I'm beginning to think maybe he's got some Me depression. Too. Me too. I'm wondering. You know? He can't seem to find himself anywhere, which is kind of, I think he needs to, Quit analyzing life so much and just live it. Just go back to finding something he wants to do. If it's not real estate, get his job. I think he needs to move on and date some people, go out dancing. I mean, he used to have the most fun. And he needs to go back to that, whether it's in real estate or another um, another interest he has. Video, what did he say? He liked videography? Yeah. Making movies? Go work with somebody like that. And live your life. I mean, he is he has contemplated it so long now. I think it's become a kind of negative habit. Right. <laughs> you know, he he's always oh, I don't know what about life. I don't know about life. You know, well, nobody does. So just move on. <laughs> you know, we all have ups and downs, and you you pick something, and if you don't like it, you try something else. But I mean, you can sit around and analyze it all day long. That's not going to get you anywhere. So well, I think he's done it long enough. And that's just my opinion, but Luis, move on, buddy. Do you think he'll come back to New York? I think he will. Do you I think did. he'll sell real estate? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what they're going to do with him. I think he will. You think he'll go back to I it? Think really? He'll sell real estate, and I think he'll be back on the show. You think so? You think he really wants to do that again? I think so, and I think he's learned that. I think what he, I have picked up on, is he really likes the love he gets from them. Yeah. He really likes that. Have you noticed that? He's got a good group of friends there. I know he does, but what I'm saying is he's been a loner everywhere he goes. And he he's went got to Paris a foundation. By he's gone everywhere by himself. You don't see women with him. You don't see yeah. anything. He doesn't have well, a friend he eats with. He, he does. He gets along with those people. You know, he's got a lot of women, but it's it's like one night flings, you know. Yeah, but I'm talking about making a life, you right. know, like, he doesn't have like a steady Frederick person. has and like, you know, Ryan has. And over the years, he's... He's been the same length of time right. in it as they have, and and he sees how happy they are, and yeah. you know, and now here we have Steve Gold saying the same thing. I yeah. want somebody to share it with. Yeah, but I understand that you do want somebody yeah. to share all well, you your do. ups and downs with, and and you want it to be, um, when you're not working, right. you want some life. Mm-hmm. You're not interested in just going home to an empty apartment and say, oh, I'm not going to do real estate today. That's right. And I'm going to go swimming. That's right. And then you have nobody else around. It's kind of depressing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Well, 
I think he's going to come back to New York. I think he's going to sell oh, real that'd estate. That would be so neat. I um, wish he would. Because of the group, and I think it was really neat how the last scene I did of too. them together was. I well, the last too. scene really was them at the dinner, but uh, when they were in his in the apartment, apartment. Oh, I love that scene. We're going to look back on that, I think, mm-hmm. a season from now, and where you know they were getting him back. They oh, said, no. come back to us, come back to us. It was the that's friendship so that's going to bring him back. Did you notice how um, it was so interesting how they've all aged when they showed some of the, yeah. you know, the very, no, it's fine. Isn't that I just weird, think it's though? so neat. I can't remember them being that so young weird. looking and all that. It was just really um, it's amazing how they to see it. have progressed in their careers and then their personal lives. I, I mean, we've watched them move along in life sure. for years now. And you know, that's so cool. You know, if you I think, think about it, it is too. You've got it all on tape. And 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 if you're Ryan or Frederick or Luis or Steve, for all these people out there to like us and follow them, mm-hmm. they don't even they hardly know who we are. Exactly. They don't know who the majority of the people are that watch the show. Uh, yeah. But these people do. They know so much about them, and that's that's got to be an interesting feeling. I just think that's nice for Luis to come on back. I think he needs the friendship. I think he needs the support right yeah, now. Yeah. And I think he'll find himself. I yeah. think he will end up um finding out exactly what he wants to do and it'll make him happy and but he needs to move back. He needs okay. to go back, I think. Okay. Ryan uh had an interesting episode. He was working he with the older individual mm-hmm. on a smaller uh, apartment. And I think he learned something about himself. It's weird. He realized that he wanted to take more risk. Mm-hmm. I relate to that a little bit. Do you? I just I think it depends on your personality. I, when that part came on the episode, I felt like I was similar. Hmm. And you have those feelings sometimes when you watch things. And it's the type of person you are, but I think once you realize it, you get excited about it. And you saw how he lit up. Oh, don't you think it's the kind of person that always wants a challenge? Eh? I think They're it's not happy very unless much they are. Working towards some. Absolutely. It's it's the challenge. It's the fear that's also exciting, the adrenaline, oh. the rush you get from taking the risk. Oh. Uh, and then I think it's also seeing the reward, you know, and enjoying it once it works. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't work and you lose money, you know, like the millions he's going to invest to buy this brokerage, mm-hmm. uh, if he lost it, you know, he's going to rebuild. And then mm-hmm. it's the excitement of rebuilding from a loss. That's true. You know, when you're at the top all the time, it gets boring. Yeah. You know, the point is to challenge yourself, you know. Uh, so yeah. I think that's a good move for him. And, and so he's purchased his brokerage in Brooklyn. Uh, and I think that was great. Well, you know, you and I had talked about how they had progressed over the years from individual apartments, condos, whatever, to developers. And um, how it had just slightly done it. And now... We were talking about when they were selling a million dollar houses, you know, and stuff. And now it's just big, you know, twenty million or sixty million developments. And yeah. and uh, Ryan, you know, kind of commented about that. He said, "This is so weird. This is just nothing now. Yeah. Two million dollars, you know. I'm so yeah. used to more," which was kind of neat in a way. It was kind of a That's awesome eye opener too. Well, I, mm-hmm. I I relate to that too. I've kind of gone through that with uh, with my business a little bit. You know, where you get stuck with the big projects so much and then you go to something mm-hmm. smaller and it's uh, an individual maybe and not so much a corporate company. I think it's a lot of fun and I think you realize that. So, um, you know, we'll see. It was just, I think he noted the price difference. I think he'll go back to the, you know, bigger things now. But uh, it was good for him to learn that. I think he um, he enjoyed the personal touch. When you're with a developer... You meet with him once in a while, and you really don't get to be very personal. And he really got involved with this guy. You know, this guy really had one apartment. He loved the apartment. He wanted to take a risk about it. He talked about all the amenities there, you know. Yeah. And it was back to that versus developers. Yeah. It's interesting to see the difference. It was, and I think he enjoyed it. I think so. And and yeah. Amelia's support for him was, was great to see. Sure was. You know, she She's thought really about sweet. it, and mm-hmm. we're not going to have it, yeah, but she was very supportive of him to do it. So She's very sweet. I think that's cool. You know, and he said something about their relationship that was really nice to hear. You know, they've got a very good they do. relationship, it seems they do. like. He said something really kind he about did. her, and, and that was awesome. And then Frederick and Derek, big news. I know. You know what I realized? Oh, that's so interesting. In the episode, they didn't tell him at the table. I know. He said he wanted to wait. And they remember? totally should have. But I think what happened was everybody found out in the finale last night. Everybody watched it on TV. He wanted them to find out by watching the episode. Oh. Because I saw a okay. post from Ryan that oh, said, congratulations on your big oh, news. Oh, wow. 
Oh. And it was after the episode last night. So, so you mean Ryan and them didn't know it until after they watched it? Right. Is that what you're saying? They, they found huh. out by watching the episode. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. I couldn't believe they're having twins. I know. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Hey, he really seems like he's evolved in his life, too. Well, know? he went through the personal climb. Boy, he did. You know, and he never felt successful. In, in all his business. That's why yeah, successful that's people, I think they don't feel it. That's why they continue. You think so? In search of that feeling, they never find it. And, and then Frederick made the comment that for the first time ever, he felt like having children. Um, made him a success? Made him a success. Yeah, a success. So, absolutely. Really? So you're talking about like more the personal family end of it made him feel more successful than all of that money he's made? Yeah. Wow. Because, you know, finally he find he, he maybe feels like he's helping some you know, or caring for something or take, you know, it's an unselfish, excuse me, an unselfish act maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the feeling is, but I, I kind of get that, you know. Well, he's always said he wanted a baby. He's always said he wanted a little girl. You know, he said that for years. It's really special. It's really neat. I was so happy for him. I mean, everybody had a, a great ending and it was so nice to me to meet Steve Gold's family and learn yeah, about his sister great, and yeah. made him so much more... You know, you think of him as being this big model, and they seem to be. They don't care about anybody except themselves and their pictures, and you know. And, and it was so neat to see him go home. It just reminded me of going to my house. I mean, it was very warm and inviting, and they were the parents were so sweet, and, and meeting uh, his sister was so sweet. And he, uh, he's just a cool guy. I like him. I, I like him. Too. Oh, and I loved what he did with Frederick in this episode. What did you think about that? When he uh, you know, it, was going to eat lunch. I yeah, don't know if you remember. And, and canceled mm-hmm. the meeting that eventually. That was so sweet when he showed up. Wasn't that cool? I was so proud. Yeah, wasn't that great? I just thought it was a really good... Um, they seem to have a really good relationship, all of them. Yeah. That'd yeah. be so much fun. I agree. Uh, I, agree. I wish I had a piece of that cake. They yeah, wasted it. Why did wasted they do it. That, huh? <laughs> my, my first thought was, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't care how rich you are. Don't don't waste that cake. I know. I know. Can you believe he had the uh, Frederick had the Paris? Um, what a setting opening or whatever you call it sales deal, and he sold uh, eight or nine of those units. Can yeah. you believe that? Yeah. I cannot believe he did that. Just like that. He does really cool things. I loved what he did about you know he had a thousand people coming to the um, the opening. Yeah. What was it an open house? That was a big risk. I what thought. What was it called? I don't know. He had some big party. Okay. Well, anyway, and and he said then cancel it all. Yeah. And just invite you know sometimes I wonder if he really knows what he's doing or does is it trial and error? That was a no, big risk. No, I mean no, I, seriously, I, do. I agree. Because he got the top guys. Well, he's all self taught. You know that. Yeah, I know. But I wonder if it is trial and error or he. Had some other information we didn't know about that was... Maybe. You know, and I know what he's saying. He had the looky-lookers, you know, because it was special. It is Lenny Kravitz, you know, the design and all that. And a lot of people come in there and Mm -hmm. really don't... Aren't prepared to sell it. Right. You know, and he wanted to just get it down to that. I thought that was a a neat thing to do, though. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, Steve's um, on the bigger brand. I think we'll see him start to to build his business a little bit more next season. He'll he'll probably find somebody to date and and get in a relationship, hopefully. Well, he picked up a team. And I hope Louise comes back. Remember Bradley Cooper and Ian? He's got him a little team started. It's great. Which kind of takes the the total amount off of him, Mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. I would think I would like that. Yeah, it was great. I I like that part. I couldn't believe that they showed that Ryan had done $1.2 billion. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder how they stack up with all the realtors in New York. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. That'd 1. be interesting 2 to billion. know. That'd be interesting to know. Isn't that amazing? What a number. Uh, I, I can't even imagine. But I, I know Frederick imagine. has surpassed a billion in the past. Uh, it's, I don't. Obviously, Steve hasn't. But uh, What did he say? He'd done $200 million? Yeah. Which, it, to me, is not peanuts. Altman but House West, Altman and Flag. Yeah, I can't I remember. They what did a million a day, were. so they're not close. I remember uh-huh. Almonds wanted to do a million a day. That's only four hundred million. Yeah. So uh, anyway, we'll see. Yeah, it was just it was the best. I just loved watching it. I wanted to I wanted to jump in the TV and be part of the group. <laughs> I think I'll go back and rewatch that one again. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was just good. so inspiring, motivating. I know. For for, for for you know relationship so standpoint, right. wanting to have good friends. You know right. from. Uh, personal relationships to business mm-hmm. to i mean it was just like a somebody wrote a per, the yeah, perfect, perfect story ending. i mean i love seeing them um not be so it's amazing 
antagonistic antagonistic between yeah. each other, like when they were sitting there at lunch and Steve was talking to yeah. Frederick and all that, and then um, and then he he worked it out. It was showed character. Yeah. I'm glad they did that. Yeah. They didn't leave it like yeah. Yeah. you know petty mess. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm proud they're getting along. I just love it. And Louise looked so happy last night. And yeah, was just well, it was just it, fun. It, and he he's discovered I think what he needs to do. Yeah. So we'll see what he does. I wish we could have been there. That would have been so much fun. I, I looked at to it. you're not kidding. There. Sorry, I cut you off there. That's all right. Uh, I would I would want to be a part of it, no doubt. I mean, I wanted to jump in the TV just like you did. You I, know what I would love to have done? Been there. What's that? And um, and interviewed them after that. After uh, they taped that right how there. How cool. Oh, I would love to interview every one of them. How cool. And I would have a bunch of questions. I would know exactly what I wanted to ask them. I would really like to get in touch with Aaron. I think I'm going to find him and start there. I don't think it's Aaron. I think it's Nick. Oh, is it Nick? Yeah. Okay. The producer you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to call him directly. Good. Because, you know, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if we can set up some time. I would love to be around all three of them. We'd have to fly out there, I guess. But I would love to... Uh, up there, I keep thinking about LA, uh-huh. but I would love to um, sit down with all of them. You know, it'd be so much fun to meet them yep. and just you know whatever. Maybe we could do that sometime. Yeah, we can always dream, can't That'd we? Be really cool. <laughs> it would be fun. Mm-hmm. It would be so much fun to sit with them. Absolutely. That's I. I would give anything to talk to those kind of people. Mm-hmm. I love real estate. It's just so much fun. I would love to talk to them about. And it'd be fun to get some of the behind the scenes stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really nice. And I, I'm just so proud of Ryan too. Ryan's really matured and i'm just i don't know the show gives you a good feeling now oh look at you well i like it i like got it. a fan yeah I like oh, cool it. i do that's great it was really good and i'm it, sad it's ending ending was good because it's been a good season it's some of the endings sometimes are kind of boring you yeah. remember oh yeah there's nothing happened we would say well yeah. just nothing really happened you know they it's said just this, ended. this was the highest rated season so did you glad. know that of all time oh really yeah well it's been time. good yeah you think steve's helped that mm, maybe I just think it's all the change. You know, they got a lot of press with the cast change, That's probably. True. That's true. Um, so They're doing know. bigger and better things, too. Those oh, yeah. big buildings get more attention. Mm-hmm. It does. And I think that's, yeah, Howard Lorber's been involved more. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... It's been it's been really uh, busy this yeah, season with it. It has been. Anyway, I, re- I regret not being as available this season. You know, we do the show for free, people. So <laughs> That's right. we've got uh, you know priorities. However, uh, in the past, we have really done more about getting the you know the the people from the show on on the on our show to have them call in and talk to us and get to ask them your questions and that's been fun i, I want to do more that of that next fun. season that would be. we didn't do it this season re i know because we're just so busy you know what But we need to make that a priority next season and we will i feel like we are just like the cast members they started off small and they've gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and more responsibilities and it's harder to fit things in like right. we did when we were at the beginning got to prioritize and so you know we're just gonna have to um yeah but it's just, very easy to do i mean it's tweets and it's you know i've just not done it well, I'm we've both got had busy lives this year. I just not done. Which in different ways, but it's been really, really a great year. Yeah, it's been good. And, so. and also, I, I don't, uh, I don't think we'll go live next season, but I do want them to call in and, and have them talk to us. But I've really enjoyed having you on the show this season. It has been fun. It's another season, and I've enjoyed uh, you including me. I make, I have more fun doing the show with you than the, watching the episodes does that make <laughs> does that make you feel good sometimes i wonder oh yeah well you know you get you get some times when we do the podcast it's after a busy you know time but uh we've we've had i've had a lot of fun doing it has it with been. you and, it's always uh, nice to work with you matt you're you're uh, easy oh, yeah. to work with oh sure yeah and i'm glad we have a common interest in real estate i don't know who else i'd do this with i don't know <laughs> But it is fun. It is. Oh, I had the I've best time it. watching that and recording this. It's just so great. Well, I've enjoyed it. Um, I would like one year to do have some comments, though. Like, have people either comment, call like in. Like a live it, chat, it, yeah. Well, I guess that's what it is. I'm not we, We'd have to do it live. We need to. I mean, eventually. It would be so much fun to talk to some of these people that listen. Yeah. And uh, it'd be fun. Instead of just anyway, on Twitter, yeah. I've really enjoyed it. All Thank right, you any, again. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Any final thoughts? No, it was just awesome. I, like you said, I think I'm going to go back and watch it again because I just really enjoyed it. It was the best. It was really, like you said, it was the best season. It was the best ending. It was a good it was season. really good. Yeah. And uh, I'm proud of all of them. Me They've too. They've grown a lot. Yeah. They seem to really have come around to... Seem like adults. Being, ...being really 
human beings. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, warm and fuzzy and, and the things that really matter in life, like getting married, having sure. kids, all that. More has balanced. Really, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I love that because some, you know, it's just not fun to watch people just work all the time and they don't have any other. Remember, this is why I'm so proud of Ryan when, uh, and I'm going to hush after this, but when no. uh, Sandy hit up there and he said, I have no friends. I have no family. And he was sitting on the steps. Do you remember that? By himself and walking through the streets because the streets were empty. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't have any friends and I don't have any family because all I do is work. Yeah. And I thought, oh, man. I mean, he was kind of sad about it, sort of like Luis. Well, you you know, you do what you have to do when you move to the city. You got to make money and you got to live. So you go through that period of time. That's what I'm saying. I'm so proud of where he is Me too. I agree. He grew. He went to a therapist. He figured out what was wrong. He, you know, worked on it. Isn't that great? I thought it was. And it's been so much fun to watch that. It has been. You know? He's really. He looks like he's so happy. Oh, yeah. All of them. He looks like he's so happy. All of them. So I guess it'll be time next year for Amelia and uh, Ryan to have a baby. Little babies. Sometime. Little Ryan babies. Sometime. We'll see. Yeah. But anyway, it's been good. What a fun season. It has I been. I hate for it to be ending. However, it's good time to have a break. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. It has been a tough season to cover this, this I year. I can't believe it's this late in the year already. It's amazing. I feel like it? the year's flown it by. Has. It's unbelievable. So it's, uh, yeah. It's been great. Well, thanks for doing the show, Ree. It's been so much fun. That's and thank you pleasure. all for listening and continuing mm-hmm. to listen. We get comments. We had somebody comment last night said, or last week. It said uh, they liked your accent. Something. Somebody. Oh something me? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said her accent. Where's my Where's my comment? <laughs> well, that's so, sweet. Yeah, you get all kinds of fun comments like that. So, oh, so that's thanks sweet. for the viewers. Yeah, and, uh, really. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. It's great. Yeah. It's well, fun. until next season and next time. Uh, right. This has been Mac, and I'm Ree. Keep it all biz. And we'll see you on the podcast.